Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. mission out here that's trying to show you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Indians that you're the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes. Right. You're the Israelites according to the Bible. You're the one that made a covenant with God in agreement and we didn't keep the end of our bargain. Read that real quick. This is the book of Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. God, God said come out to these highways and hedges to compel you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Indians to come into his house. Read on. That my house may be filled. That his house may be filled. Give me Mark chapter 16, verse 20. Yeah. That his house may be filled because you are empty with the word of God. You've been taught wrong all your life. You've been taught that you're African American. Right. You're not African American. That was given to you in slavery. Yes. You're the Israelites according to the Bible. Read that. This is the book of Mark, chapter 16 and verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere. And the, the Lord work, working with them. Read it again. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. The Lord is working with us. Why? Because we keep God's laws and we got the wisdom upon us. Yeah. If anybody got any questions about what we're saying, you step up right now and ask your questions. Read it one more time. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. And confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Give me Luke chapter 1, verse 17 and 18. Yeah. The word is the Lord is working with us. Why? Because we can come out here and answer any question anybody have according to this Bible. John 3 16 don't mean that God loves everybody. That's right. You need to read Matthew 15, 24. God said he only loved the nation of Israel. Yeah. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read that. The book of Luke. Chapter 1 and verse 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Why we turn the hearts of the fathers to the children? Because your fathers is uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your father is Jeremiah. Your father is Isaiah. Your father is Malachi. These are your fathers. Your forefathers is of the Bible. Read it one more time. Before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. That's what we try to do, try to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. That's why we're telling you to come out of these churches. Come out and start keeping God's laws. Yes. You're breaking God's laws today if you're buying and selling. Today is the Sabbath day. God says remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. Why are you breaking God's Sabbath day? Why are you breaking God's laws? Because you've been taught wrong in these fake churches. That's right. God says keep his day holy on the seventh day. Not the first day of the week. We rest on the first day of the week in slavery on Sunday. Right. Keeping the traditions of man. Give me Philippians chapter 1 verse 17 and 18. Why we are here to set the defense of the gospel. Then the Lord is working with us. Why? Because our people are destroyed. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Read. Philippians chapter 1, verse 16. Read. The one preached Christ of contention, not sincerely. Read. So we got many camps come out here and preach Christ, but it's not very sincere. That's right. They preach for their own word, right. like your Christian pastor. Read on. Supposing to add affliction to my bond, Read. but the other of love, Read. knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. 
You hear that? We set for the defense of the gospel. The gospel is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites. That's right. And they're going to have the kingdom of heaven, rulership upon the earth. We're set for that defense of the gospel. And anybody got any questions, you come up here and ask. Because the Bible was given only to a particular group of people. You Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read that scripture again. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Give me Job chapter 33, verse 32 and 33. We're set for the defense of the gospel. Why? Because we are here to show who you are according to the Bible and why are we in these conditions. Why do we get killed in the streets? Why? Because we don't keep God's laws. Right. Why do we get shot down and murdered and practice the prison houses? Why? Because you celebrate Christmas. Right. You celebrate Thanksgiving. You celebrate all traditions of man that wasn't meant for you. And that's why we're getting destroyed today. Right. Not understanding who you are. Read. The book of Job, chapter 33 and verse 32. Read. If thou hast anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I desire to justify thee. If you got anything to say to us, please speak to us, because we want to justify what you're saying. If you're right, you're right. If we wrong, we'll say we're wrong. Read on. If not, hark unto me. Hold thy peace. If you don't got nothing to say, won't you listen to what we got to tell you and hold your peace. Read on. And I shall teach thee wisdom. Is that it? Yes, sir. And we shall teach you wisdom. Hey, how you doing? What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? You got any questions? Yeah, I want to know how I can uh, convert myself. How you can convert yourself? What's your father? Black. Black? So if your father fill out an your father's alive today? Yeah. Okay, so if your father fill out an application, he'll put black on there? Yeah. Okay. Give me number shut to 1 verse 18. Because as far as being convert, that's one thing you got to do, but... Being an Israelite is by nationality and by blood, okay? Meaning that's who you are, okay? Read Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, and verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So, pedigree means lineage, okay? You are what your father is, okay? So you say your father is a, uh, is a so-called black man? Okay, then, so society called your father a so-called black man or African-American. That's what you are, okay? So if you look on this sign right here, right, you look to the right-hand side, you'll see the biblical names of the forefathers of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. To the left-hand side, you'll see what happened to us once we got conquered. So do you see black or, or American black on there? So what do you see on the right hand side of that? American black. What do you see right there? Oh. On the left side. On the left side. I'm sorry, on the left hand side. What do you see? Judah. So the so-called American black today is from the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel. That's who they are. That's who you are. Okay? So as far as being converted. One thing has to convert you, but being an Israelite, that's what you are. Meaning, the curses are upon us as a people. We lost our identity in slavery. It was prophesied in the Bible. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 26, and I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you how to convert yourself, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 36. I'm going to show you a Bible prophecy, what happened to us. See, these are, these are, these are, uh, these are uh, answers that your pastors... A normal Christian pastor can't answer. Read that real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 36. 26. Verse 26, I said, I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. God said, if you don't keep my laws, I'm going to scatter you to the four corners of the earth. And I'm going to do what? I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. He made the remembrance of us cease before men, meaning what? When we come out here and say that we're the Israelites according to the Bible, these other nations say, y'all crazy. Y'all African Americans. When Africa is named after them, a so-called white man, Leo Scipio's Africanus. When America is named after a white man, or a so-called white man, because they're not white, they're red. Okay? Name Americo Vespucci. That term came in 1984. All right? That's not who we are. 
But since we've been destroyed as a people, read that again. I said, I will scatter them into corners. God said, they don't keep my laws. I'm going to scatter them into corners. How did we get to the four corners of the earth? By slave ships, right? And I'm going to show you that too. Read on. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So how did he make the remembrance? Give me Psalms 83, verse uh, 1. Yeah. I'm going to show you how the Lord made the, the remembrance of cease before men. Because have you seen that movie Roots before? So when Kunta Kinte was getting whooped, right, what did the, what did the guys in the movie tell, tell him? He told him your name going to be Toby. He said, that's a good name. And that's going to be your name forever, right? And that's the name he kept. The same thing with us. What's your last name? Hughes? Yeah, that's some that's from some slave, slave plantation. Meaning they we they made us who they are. They converted us to what they do in their customs. And I'm gonna show you that what happened is during slavery. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they hate, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So the enemies are talking about the other nation. They made an uprising. They that hated deed had lifted up the head. So how did the enemies of God lift up the head in this, in, this, in this society? With this image right here. In the Bible, Christ is black. Yes, right. But the enemy said, no, he's white. In the uh, Bible, God is black. But the enemy said, no, he's white. How did the other enemies lift up their head in society? They raised up Buddha. They raised up Allah. They raised up their gods. Read on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So they have taken crafty counsel against us. Meaning what? Through an education. They don't teach us who we are. They don't teach us the true uh, thing about slavery and what they really did us in slavery. Right. They only show you a little bit about slavery. Yes. But they did so many atrocities, it'll blow your mind. Read on. And consulted against the hidden ones. They consulted against the hidden ones. We're the hidden ones in earth, meaning we don't know who we are. We're the hidden ones in the earth today. Our people don't know, have a clue who they are. They believe that they're Hispanics. They believe that they're uh, American Indians. But they're the Israelites according to the Bible. Read on. They have said, come, let us cut them off. This is what the enemy, this is what the enemy said. They consulted against each other, meaning the enemies, the nations. They said, what? Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They cut us off from being a nation of people, that the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance. That's how they, when once we scatter in, in, us into corners, they indoctrinate us with their religion. They indoctrinate us with their nationality. So the name of Israel may not be uh, any more in remembrance. That's, right. That's why people say that they're African American. But this is Bible prophecy because they would not know who they are in these last days. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. God said, if you don't keep my laws, I'm going to put curses upon you as a people. And our people don't, don't take this very seriously. That's why two-thirds got to die when Christ comes back. That's right. And that's Bible prophecy for real. Read on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God told the Israelites, look, if you don't keep my laws, I'm going to bring these curses upon you as a people, and they're going to overtake you. So let's see some of these curses. Jump to verse 45. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? Okay, then. Run, uh, verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Be oh, hold that for a minute, hold that for a minute. Hey, tell them to park over there. Read again. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. God says all these curses, these bad things, was going to overcome us, pursue us, and overcome us until we are destroyed as a people. And he's going to tell you why. Read on. Because, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So why do we go into slavery? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. 
Why do we go in slave ships? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why do we still get killed in the streets? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why do we fill the prison houses? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why do we get killed on Indian reservations? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why did they kill us on the border? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. You see that? That's why we get killed today. Because we don't hearken to this Bible and we don't keep God's commandments. Does it make sense so far? Okay then. Read on. And his statutes which he commanded thee. Read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God says these curses are going to be upon us for as a sign. So let me ask you a question. What, what street we on? How do you know that? So the street sign tells you where we at, right? So it's an identification mark. Make sense? Read that again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God said he's cursed is going to be an identification marker of who my people are in these last days. Right. Make sense? Read on. And for a wonder. God said you're going to wonder why you went into slavery. You're going to wonder why you're getting killed in the streets until the prophets come out and explain these things to you. Preach upon wisdom to you. Read on. And upon thy seed forever. So these are generational curses. They're going to come upon our children and our children's children. Make sense so far? Okay then. So now let's, we're going to go through a few of these curses to see who they identify with. All right? Give me verse uh, 32. This is verse 32. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God said, if you don't keep my laws, your sons and daughters are going to give, be given to another people. Who did that happen to? They ain't called interracial dating. When, as a nation of people, when was our sons and daughters given to another nation of people? Slavery. God said, if you don't keep my laws in slavery, your sons and daughters are going to be given to another nation of people. That's what he's saying. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Just like we said with Roots, right? You remember when Kizzy uh, uh, was taken away, uh, her, 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 her baby was taken away, and she couldn't do nothing about it. She cried. You remember that? You remember when in the slave movies when uh, the baby was taken? Right. You see, they, was, they were crying. They couldn't do nothing about it, right? Right. This is actually, we're reading it from the Bible. You've seen it in the movies, but this is pro Bible prophecy, which means it's American history. It happened, right? Read on. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. God said you ain't had no military might, economic might to get your children back. That's what happened to us. That's what happened to us as a people. Starting to make sense? So, read verse 46 again. No, give me verse 41. Verse 41. Read. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, read. but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. God says in slavery, you're going to have sons and daughters too as well, but they're going to be out there picking the, in the, picking the cotton just like you. They're going into captivity as well. You've seen that on movies too, right? You got five-year-old uh, uh, little children picking cotton with a 60-year-old man. They, you're right they didn't care. Why? But it's our fault because we didn't keep God's laws. Read that again. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, Read. but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. They're going to go into captivity as well. Give me verse 37. Verse 37. Read and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, in a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. God says, you're going to, since you don't keep my laws, you're going to be a proverb and a byword. What's some of the proverbs they say about, about black people? Black people love what? The black people love chicken, watermelon. They always late, right? They lazy. Also, yeah, that, and that's what a proverb, that is what it's talking about. They said, if you want to hide anything from a black man, what do you do? You put it in a book because they don't like to read. Give me Revelation 1 and 3. Let's see what God said about reading this Bible. No. That's why we destroy it today because we don't like to read. Revelation 1 and 3. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. No. Blessed is he that readeth. God says, blessed is he that readeth. Read it one more time. Blessed is he that readeth. 
me Matthew 13 and 16. God said, blessed is the man that read this Bible. But we'll come out here and read it for you because y'all don't like to read. And that's why we destroy it as a people. Give me Matthew 13 and 16. Let's go. This is the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. God said, blessed your eyes because they see. You see your prophets right in front of you. And blessed you that you hear. You're hearing the word of God that's coming out. Read it again. But blessed are your eyes, are your eyes, for they see, Read. and your ears, for they hear. Read on. For verily I say unto you, Read. that many prophets and righteous men have to die to see those things which ye see. Many prophets had died to see what you see in the day. Right. You don't see black and Latin men on the street corners teaching the word of God. That's but right. what you don't realize, this is actually Bible prophecy. Yeah. We're doing the same that Christ do, do, right. did. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. God says, bless the ones that read it and hear and get to understand this Bible. Many prophets wish they could hear and see the things that you're seeing today. Right. Let's get back to verse 41. Verse 41. Read. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. God says, you don't keep my laws, your sons and daughters are going into captivity too. That's right. They're going into captivity as well. Generational curse. Generational curse. Give me verse 64. Yeah. Verse 64. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. God said, you don't keep my laws. He said, I'm going to scatter you among all people. You remember what we read? He said, I'm going to scatter you into all corners, right? Amongst all people upon the face of the earth. Read on. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Read. And there, that's our serve other God. And there, once we got those slave ships, we start serving other gods. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Read. Even wood and stone. We start serving wood and stone. Today, the black and black man still serving the wood, that wooden cross. It's called Christianity. They serve Christianity today. And what's the stone? The other black men, they love the cobblestone. They love Islam. That's not your God. That's not your God. Give me verse 68. Hey, brother, how did we get to this side of, uh, side of the earth? Do you think I can find that in the Bible? Uh, we quite sure. You, I'm glad you I'm glad you say that because the Bible says prove all things, right? And that's why we are here to prove it. He said, blessed are those that read. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God says, I'm going to bring it. Brother, do you not understand what Egypt means? He said, I'm going to bring it into Egypt if you don't keep my laws. Now, wasn't the children of Israel in Egypt under the hand of Pharaoh? And they were led out by Moses, right? But he says right here, if you don't keep my laws, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. What, 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 put back in what? Absolutely. That's exactly what Egypt means, but we're going to read it from the Bible. All praise it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The house of what? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means bondage, which means captivity. You're absolutely right, absolutely right brother. Egypt means bondage, which means captivity. Read it again. And the Lord I mean, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. God said, if you don't keep my laws, I'm putting you on them cargo slave ships. I'm going to pack you like sardines. And that's exactly what he did to us. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. By the way, Moses said it was going to happen. That's exactly how it happened. 1492, 1619, black and Hispanics on slave ships. American history, what you learn, but it's actually Bible prophecy, what we read. Have you ever seen the true men of God? We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
a Jew would sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.